Hey, how are you guys doing today? I hope amazing. So we're back writing on our book. Um, of course, we're in revisions right now. We're on part two of revisions. As much as you'd think that doesn't actually leave us a lot of leeway to change or like hammer out some spots in the story, we actually do still have large adjustments to be made. Now, here's the deal. As we have it, we've got it where he's just been planted with the AI, right? So, as we all have already agreed earlier on, by the way, I'm trying to get chat up right now. I just didn't have the, the phone I used for chat turned on. And so, you know, that whole process. Um, we decided the AI itself was to have a persona. He now has the AI inside of him, but has not in any capacity interacted with the said persona of the AI. Now, here's the deal. Originally, on our current layout, hold on one sec, I'm just trying to get this chat stuff up. And then I'll show you guys our dilemma. On our original layout, we have him actually doing the sound sam delving into the ai all the way in chapter 12. i'm going to be honest with you guys and i almost have chat up also by the way um i don't want it out so far kind of it's such a big impact thing and stuff like that and i know that that's one of those hey are you sure you want to pull that in no, I'm not a million percent sure. Like, honestly, this is the truth. I believe I think it would be better suited pulled in earlier so that we'd have more time to have more interactions out through here. Um, with the AI, getting to know the AI and developing it further, um, before this chapter 29 slash or and chapter 30. Because in all honesty, uh, while we're writing out stuff and stuff like that, a couple of these chapters look like that they're likely to be, uh, need to be seriously developed. And then some of them need seriously, this like this probably needs broken in half. But we'll have to, we'll have to look into that to be honest later on. I'm going to get right into chapter 7 today, but while we're working on it, I first I, I need to actually review back and kind of glance over what we did. Now, remember, we didn't do the wording on chapter, the wording corrections yet on chapter 6. And so if it's worded weird, don't be shocked. We haven't went through and pounded the crap out of, hey, I don't like how that's worded. Um I just kind of need to glance it over just so I know exactly where I was going with this stuff. Let's go to our writing stuff. See, we finished off right there. Salvador Trag said they would handle getting weapons for us. See, that's horrible wording. The, the wording will get developed up and improved later on. By the way, good morning, and I do hope you're all having a great day. <coughs> Okay, so we've got a little bit of bliss and amper. Wait, so do I legit having him? Wait, do I have him at least wake up? I just want to make sure he went home and got went to sleep. Okay, so he's came home here after getting the AI implanted. He did go to sleep, right? Okay, good. Okay. So our guy did go to sleep. That's a good, that's a total. Good, we're good there. So I'm not unhappy with any of this, just so you guys know. I'm just not like, hmm. Let me look over this. 
Okay, so we're we're good with everything. So they went. He left to go back to Trags and finalize plans. Okay. So now we're back at where I know what's going on. That's a that's a super super handy thing, right? Let's look over this. I arrived back at Trags and noticed Salvador and Trag were in full swing of planning. Tracks. I'm gonna I'm gonna change up some of this because I decided Frank and Bruno now like him. Okay, I'm just fixing some stuff that, that could get fixed. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so like this. Let's do this too. Watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I arrived back at tracks. That's a comma. I arrived back. Wait, no, that's not a comma. It's the comma here. I arrived back at tracks this time with a welcoming greeting this time with a welcoming greeting from Bruno and Frank at the door as I entered I noticed Salvador and Trag were in full swing of planning you know what planning away the word away doesn't help right Hey, Vital Duck. Good morning, Snow Ranger. I hope you guys are both having an amazing day. I'm having awesomeness. We're on Chapter 7 on Revision 2. Now, technically, we're not fixing wording, but let's just be honest. As we read this, as I enter, I notice Salvador and Trag were in full swing of planning. That finishes enough without having a way. I don't, I don't think a way... Planning away doesn't add anything to it at all, right? We can just cut that word for being a waste. So much so, I believe that you're supposed to actually put a comma on this crap. I mean, I'm going to have this edited, so let's just be honest. Somebody else will tell me I'm wrong on that if we are wrong. But let's find out by doing it and seeing if an editor tells me I'm wrong. That they seemed not to notice me as I came in. I actually have the hard time feeling that mobsters don't notice somebody as they came in. So much so that they seemed not to notice me as I came in. He's just implying that they seemed not to notice him, right? Let's just keep with that. Boom. 
I'm going to leave that because that makes sense. I spoke up asking, hey, Trag, that's not really asking. Hey, Trag, I was able to find some guys like you asked. Okay. When do you think? I don't like the wording on this at all. Okay, so let's go over this. And we're not fixing wording today. But if it's like a level three, it pisses me off. But you do fix it, just for the record. I really need to come up with some kind of actual legit criteria for what is a level three piss me off compared to like what is a normal it just bugs me. And I don't have legit stuff for that yet. Hey, Electric Dust. Good morning. I hope you're having a great one. But basically, here's what I know that our rule is so far. If I'm not even sure what I was trying to say with it, it needs changed. If at least I know what I was trying to say, I just don't like it, it's probably level two. I don't know what level one is. Level one is probably just stuff that we read. It's okay, but if it was worded differently, it could be better. But now we have a criteria. Oh my freaking gosh. But besides that, level three can also include stuff that just annoys the crap out of us right at that second to the point that we must change it to move on. I should have wrote that down. That sounded actually well thought. Luckily, it's on tape. I mean, on, not on tape. Tape doesn't exist. Any, well, it probably exists somewhere, but we'll get into that stuff later. I spoke up asking. That's not true. He's not asking, right? Maybe maybe this is not the proper way to do it. What am I doing right here? Boom. Okay, I spoke up inserting myself. That's what I feel we really did, correct? Everybody feels that's closer to what we're doing? I think so too. Hey, Trag, I was able to find some guys. We're rewording that. This is, this is true. He was able to find some guys. Let's think of what we want to say it like. I was able to get some guys is not how we want to say it. Okay, I think that's what we're... Hey, P Graph G, how you doing today? I think this is how we're going to go with it. We're going to make it more gangster sounding a little bit, right? Hey, Trag, I was able to manage... Wait. Hey, Trag. I'm Okay, hey, Trag, I managed to pull together some extra muscle for your crew. When do you think we'll be ready to head out? And what's the plan from here? Okay, that I'm totally okay with. That's reasonable, guys. Look at that. Salvador turned to look, replying, We have almost everything set up, and we found a couple other guys to come also. 
Why did I say it like that? I don't believe I used any extra guys that he had. At no point, I don't believe we really did actually have him get extra guys. So we've got Bruno. Nah, this guy doesn't have any extra guys. Salvador didn't bring anybody extra. Let me go back through. But we didn't get to have any extra Salvador dudes to kill off even. I need to find our psychic. The corporate mage is a corporate mage. Oh. Oh. Oh no. I'm wrong. You guys, I'm freaking way wrong. Salvador and Washington are Akios. Okay. So I'm just trying to divide up everybody's... Rory comes with Sam. She hasn't even been introduced at this point. Mia. This is who we need to check. Oh, crap. Okay, so we're going to have to go to where Amelia's first mentioned, or Kiara. Kiara might be being brought. Hey, thank you very much. Kiara might be being brought with, um, with Akio, but I'm not a million percent sure. Oh, guys, he doesn't know her name when he first sees her. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go just slightly forward to where they get to the docks. Accio. Okay, so let's look at this. We've got Salvador. Red-headed woman's with Salvador. Okay, so, so no, he doesn't bring anybody, you guys, he's not bringing anybody, let's change that and make it correctly, I managed to pull together extra muscle, Salvador looked, replied, um, he wasn't, okay, watch this. We have almost everything set up. We're going to go like that. I go back here, fix that real quick. Um, yeah, door. Okay, so here, we have almost everything set up. I think we can actually just put that as a, a period and just have that as a simple sentence and it doesn't even matter, right? So we have almost everything set up. Salvador will be bringing, will be bringing, yeah. 
some of his crew his let's just call him his people along with some gear and other weapons so everything is in place let's just along with the weapons and gear and let's put weapons first because I like weapons So everything is in place. And honestly, do you guys want to, to to gear everybody up a little bit better in this revision? I mean, like, well, we could pick the revision three for that kind of crap, too. I'm always like, which revision do we want to do that? But in all honesty, it's only going to affect stuff marginally. Like, we can then pick that piece of gear for something later on or in the story. We know specifically something I can change. You know what I mean? I also contacted Actio. But are we still within quotes? Yeah, okay, yeah, we are. I also contacted Accio, and he said we should meet. Okay. That we could rewrite. We should meet him tomorrow in Dock 51. I can message you when it's time. Okay. Make sure to get everyone ahead before I mean together beforehand. That's not that bad. I also contacted Akio. He said we should meet him tomorrow in Doc 51. I can message you when it's time. Make sure. See, I'm gonna cut this. Like that. I can message you when it, it is time. Okay, so we've got that. Who, who should meet? Oh, I see what you're trying to say. Okay. We should. That would have worked, too. I see what you're saying. Okay, let's fix the rest of this. I think we're good. I mean, it's not exactly like I like, but let's just be honest. We're going to fix the wording better later on. Trag said, good job on taking care of everything. Really, honestly, maybe I'm talking too nicey. I'm kind of having a hard time feeling people like a gangster would really say good job like that, but whatever, they're friends. Sam said good job on taking care of everything. Okay, this is horribly said, right? Follow this, right? Good job on taking care of everything. Not liking this. Sam. Good job on taking care of everything. Then we're going to.
I'm not really liking it at all. Make sure you finalize what you need to, and then go home and get some sleep. Okay, so we're going to break this up because it's bad. Sam, good job on taking care of everything. Okay. I'm almost going to say that we're going to not good job. We're going to congrats. Congrats on getting together. The extra muscle. Always going to misspell that just so you guys know. Okay, so this is going to make more sense, I think. Trag said. See, I, I don't like said. Let me look over this. So Trag said, Sam, congrats on getting together the neck, the extra muscle we needed. All you're doing, I don't like that either. All you're doing, all you're doing is much appreciated. Okay, so I feel that that's better. Sam, congrats on getting together the extra muscle we needed. All you've been doing, all... Do I want to contract that? Do you think we want it as a contracted? All you have been doing, or all you've been doing. I never use you've in real life much. I guess I do sometimes. I'm going to leave it as you have. We'll deal with that later. Been doing is much appreciated. Make sure you finalize what you need to. Comma. Then go home and get some sleep. Okay, we're cool with that. That makes sense. It's not illogical as crap. Honestly, if we can get him asleep, this is a great point where we could insert a little bit more AI stuff. I nodded and decided to head home so I could mess. Wait. Does he. Okay, good. I nodded. I almost want him to say something here, but honestly,
this is not our dialogue run through, but honestly, the dialogue in here could be moot. I nodded and decided to head home so I could message everyone. Honestly, I don't understand why you would need to there. Okay, I nodded and decided to head home, messages and everyone fall on the way home. And I don't even think I need the wall on the way home. Or do we want that wall? Let's see if that everyone wall. Oh, sorry guys. Overwrote that. I now decided to head home messaging everyone while I was on the way home. And we don't need home because we already know that we're on the way home. While I was on the way. Okay, we're good with that. I was hoping... Oh, man. My allergies are going to be bugging the crap out of me this year, I can tell. I was hoping we could all get some sleep. Somehow I think I should separate these. I nodded and decided to head home, messaging everyone while I was on the way. I was hoping we could all get some sleep and be ready to... I don't like the wording on this. And be ready for when we receive the message. Ooh, this is definitely a level freaking two, you guys. Let me make sure I still have sound. That's always a good thing to check, too. So, I do. But, here's where I'm issuing let me look at what my issue is here so all of the sentence is true right i was hoping we could all get some sleep and be ready to meet tomorrow before getting underway The wording that's horrible. I'm going to drink coffee and look at it scornfully. I'm just joking. I did kind of give it a dagger eye though right there. That's okay. Man, you guys are freaking awesome. You know that? Let's just be honest about what... <sighs> I'm going to break this out. Ah, uh, the H. I'm always... Where is the H in exhaust? Uh, 
that's not going to be it. And that's not it. Oh, okay, that is it. I'm sorry. I always forget where the H goes for some reason. Uh, So right here is where I need to be throwing something in on the AI stuff. So let's pause. I mean, I'm not pausing. There's no real pause button. So let me look at this. I felt exhausted. Pretty sure I just have to do dot, dot, dot like that. I felt exhausted and very much looked forward to getting some sleep, but still wanted to explore what I could of the AI. Yeah, this is where we're going to expand this out. We need to get this better. Okay, I knew I knew I needed to be ready Okay, this is what he really knows. He knows he needs to be awake, awake and ready early enough. I felt exhausted and very much looked forward to getting some sleep, but still wanted to explore what I could of the AI. This is where I'm going to break this off from this. Let's see. I nodded and decided to go home and message everyone while I was on the way. 
that 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 we're gonna break this right here. Watch this. Boom. Do we call it quarters or do we call it unit? Upon arriving at my quarters, I felt exhausted and very much looked forward to getting some sleep, but still wanted to explore what I could of the AI. I knew I needed to be awake and ready early enough to get everyone else together. Ready early enough to get everyone. Oh, let's let's check this out like this, right? Early enough to. So this is still true. I knew I needed to be awake and ready early enough to make sure everything went smoothly. See, that's totally true. We don't even have to worry about it. Okay. We would get together early and be ready for, okay. My plan was I'm going to just mess this up a little. Hold on. Okay, so here's this. I broke it in the wrong place. That's my bad. This is really what should have happened. This is when he gets. And so this is what we're doing. Uh, see what happens when you think you're doing what you think you're doing and then you find out no. Okay. I nodded and decided to head home, messaging everyone while I was on the way. I felt exhausted and very much looked forward to getting some sleep, but still wanted to explore what I could of the AI. I knew I needed to be awake and ready early enough to make sure everything went smoothly. My plan was to get together early enough and be ready for what see. 
I don't like the wording on this. My plan was to get to her together early enough and be ready for when I received the message from Salvador and Trag to head to the dock or to dock 51. Uh, see. I, I hate the wording on this, but we'll, we'll leave that because it's still true and the wording is the only thing that's pissing me off, which is a pretty big thing. We have a whole round of revisions that's just doing wording, which will be fun. It's going to go great. I got back to my living quarters and, mess and messaged Brandon. See, we don't have to message them. Because we already messaged these guys. Watch this. So now we, we get rid of this whole section here. And we go like this. I got back to my living quarters. Right as, wait. I need to put that on the other side of Orion. Right as, oh, okay. I got back to my living quarters right as Orion messaged me back, letting me know he had already talked to Blake and Toby and they were in. I really actually might have to back. Seriously, there's a chance, guys, that the, the I have to find out when we introduce Rory. I'm hoping we introduce her at a logical point, but she comes with us. Oh, here's Rory, right here. I lied. So Rory's right here. So she's coming at us. Never mind. I was really. Oh, Rory's right here. Oh, freaking A, guys. What the heck? That's when we introduce her. I was starting to be distressed because I was starting to think, I'm like, well, did we not introduce this, this character that we're supposed to have introduced into here? You know what I'm saying? She's a latecomer into the party. I got back to my living quarters right as Orion messaged me back, letting me know that he had already talked to Blake and Toby, and they were in. Pretty sure it's that one. Okay. Orion thought he might also, might also. Orion thought he might have one more friend he could count on. Okay. I'm going to put the also in there. He might also. Oh. I'm going to put it in the proper way, though, because that's going to work better. Orion thought he might also have one more friend he could count on, Rory, but had not heard back from her yet. I knew of Rory. She had been a mage for the Confederation of Planets during the most recent pushes. Pushes. Do we want pushes or push? During the most recent push to take the planets lost during the time of the horse. So that's a good person to have on it. Brandon and Zach also messaged back, confirming message. I think I need me back. No. Message back. I, I don't care. We'll, we'll fix that later. They would be ready and be at Aureus early. Wait, where is Aureus? Oh, Orion's. My God, I feel a little gu guilty of silliness there. I'm like, what? Where do I have these guys going? Oh, Orens, Orens. We gotta start calling Oren, Orens early. So they're gonna be at Orens. So we've got everybody's meeting actually at Orens. Is what it's looking like to me. Okay, so here we finally have him going to bed early. We're not gonna have him go to bed early. Right? Uh, 
let's hint at something here. Also, this, this I'm going to drop back onto this, and we're just going to make that a really long paragraph, because this all pertains to the, that part, okay? I'm going to go get a Kleenex, too, and then we're going to dominate this next section, because that's what we're doing today, is dominating stuff. But it's not long. Longer. Longer chapter than I realized. That's okay. We're going to knock it out anyway. Hold on one second. I'm just running. Shh, 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 shh. Oh. I'm having Play-Doh cookies made for me as we speak. Okay. He's not going to go to bed early. He's going to go to bed early, but we're going to change out some of the stuff. Plus, is my thing really not gave us the kickoff. Oh, man. I'm honestly going to tell you guys, I don't understand my microphone. I don't understand why sometimes it'll just be like, boom, dude, some mean stuff I don't want to say really. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Before he's going to go to bed... Okay, I sat on the... Where did we have... Let me read. He already felt the... Uh, the nanites back here in chapter 6, right? So here's where we have him. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Okay, so that's what we needed to know.
I sat on my bed after washing a few capsules of bliss down, trying to use what little connection the nanites had made so far between the AI and, wait, let's just call it mind. Okay, that, that we put it a little closer with that, but I don't really like that a lot. I sat on my bed after washing down a few capsules of bliss and trying to use what little connection of the nanites had made so far between, made so far between the AI and my mind. It was not enough to handle direct connection yet, but it was close. Let's see. Spread. Boom. I see what I did wrong. Spreading. Okay, beyond the connections being made to my mind, I could feel it spreading throughout. I could feel... Did I call it technopathy? What did we call it before? Why are they being all poo poo butt about this? Technomancy, technopathy, technopath. Oh, I see why, because I'm at an extra zone. Oh, technopathy.
Uh, I don't know what I want to say there. I, I don't really have something I actually have definitive to say there. So let's let's not just start putting some crap out, right? I wanted to delve more into it, but let's just establish that it's starting to develop. And I don't know. I kind of think that there's something that we want here. And I'm going to be honest, guys. I almost want some kind of... I mean, I know it's one of the things that we cover in one of the later things. But I kind of want some kind of like almost... Uh, Okay, oddly, I feel a strange pull from the AI. Okay, I know that that's going to look cop outy, but I cannot explain it. So I cannot explain it. Right? So here's how it goes. I sat on my bed after washing a few capsules of bliss down and trying to use what little connection the nanites had made so far between the AI and my mind. It was not enough to handle the direct connection yet, but it was close. Beyond the connections being made to my mind, I could, oh, boom, mind. Beyond the connections being made to my mind, I could feel the nanites spreading throughout my body. With my technopathy, I could, okay. Okay. Watch this stuff. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. It was not enough to handle a direct connection yet, but it was close. Beyond the connections being made um, to my mind, 
My technopathy allowed me to feel the nanite spreading throughout my body. Oddly, I ooh, see. What the heck was I doing there? Oddly, I feel a strange pull from the AI, from a place connected to my. Okay, oddly, I feel a strange pull from the AI as if it is responsive to my technopathy, but I cannot explain it. We'll leave that like that because that's reasonable. Hey, son, how you doing? Hope you guys are all having a great day, by the way. Okay, so we're good with that paragraph. Okay, so we already had him use the capsules of bliss up there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do here. See, this is really a lot of repeaty stuff. I planned on being an Oriusist before anyone else. I went to bed early. Okay, so here's what's really going to happen. Let's break this down because they're using the bliss. Let's separate this out. And let's take this out on its own. Hey, Brutavo, how are you doing also? Hope you're having a great day. So. Here's what really happened now. We know. He already took it earlier. Oh, yeah, I always... I always want to combine kicked in into a single word. As the bliss kicked in, I... Boom. So there. As the bliss kicked in, I found myself drifting off. I think it's boom. Drifting off into a very well-deserved deep sleep. Now, I've got to read this because I've got to figure out if I was just like, this is him thinking. Because honestly, he already went over that right up there. This guy didn't struggle to sleep because I just had him just fall into a deep sleep. So that this is a lie. Did not struggle to sleep. See, boom, deep sleep, struggle to sleep, no. Okay, so let me think. I've got to, I've got to figure out what we're doing here. Obviously, what happened is about to change because we can't have him 
popping a few pills and falling asleep is his well-deserved day slash and at the exact same time he's gonna um, struggle to go to sleep that's not gonna happen so this is gone there's so much unknown struggle to get sleep all that's gonna disappear okay but of course it doesn't want to do what I want so we'll just go like that So I'm trying to look over what kind of crap this is. Okay, here's what happens. This gets kicked back into here. This is all making more sense now. Boom, boom, boom. Let me make sure he doesn't wake up. See, this drifted off to sleep part. We already drifted him off to sleep. I guess I could throw all that crap in there and have him think that in the morning, but, but we're gonna have it in the morning. I see, I'm about to butcher the crap out of this. All this stuff, how it went down, just changed a little bit. It's not a big deal. I'm going to have to adjust myself to do it, though. Man, we still have... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what we have. My coffee is freaking excellent, though, so that's all that matters. Does this not look like it's aligned properly? I don't know. Okay. Hey, Ierson, how you doing? And hey, how you doing, beta boy?
Okay, as I gathered my stuff and got around. Salvador. Why am I always Salvador? Okay. I would rush to Orens, getting there early enough to have things well in order before Salvador and Trag. I wondered what kind of ship would be travel on. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's check and see if this rest of the stuff makes sense right now. That's always the worry that I'll change something and it just throws everything in like into some kind of like chaos. I sat on my bed after washing a few capsules of bliss down and trying to use what little connection the nanites had made so far between the AI and my mind. It was not enough to handle a direct connection yet, but it was close. Beyond the connections being made to my mind, my technopathy allowed me to feel the nanites spreading throughout my body. Oddly, I feel a strange pull. Ooh, do I like that? Probably not. From the AI, as if it responsive, as if it is responsive to the technopathy, but I cannot explain it. As if, the, as the bliss kicked in, I found myself drifting off into a very well-deserved deep sleep. My dreams were strangely and mostly filled with me working to solve some un unseen puzzle. I knew it was so close to the, I knew I was so close to the answer, but never once was able to see the actual puzzle itself. Then suddenly, right as I thought I had solved it, I woke up, filled with thoughts about the day to come. As I gathered my stuff and got around, I made a plan. I would rush to Ora Orens, getting there early enough to have things well in order before Sandoval and Trag would contact us. I wondered what kind of ship would be travel on, I mean, traveling on. Would everything really be okay? Okay, I wondered what kind of ship we what kind of ship we would be traveling on and if everything would be okay. I had convinced so many of my friends to come along. 
comma. That now I worried about what I had gotten them into. I just hoped everything would play out in our favor. So that I'm going to leave because that is true. And honestly, we do want to have at least something in there for boating. Because uh, you guys all know that like followed the actual normal. We wrote it through. Most of his friends die. Almost everybody. If you guys didn't know that plot, whatever it is, I don't know, plot reveal, whatever that is where they tell you they're going to ruin the plot for you somehow, but a lot of people die. Okay, so boom, that's in favor. Get that to appear, boom, period. This doesn't happen Okay, we've got that fixed. I arrived at Orin's. He was already awake, looked to be well rested and prepared. There were two large military style equipment containers shoved neatly in the corner with a set. Oh, we're going to have to add this as a thing Duradex combat armor, right? Let's do that. Let's add it. New entry item object. Crap, I should have copy paste that. Copy paste, then do that part, guys. Yeah. We'll probably have to a Dex combat armor used later on. That's the only reason. Boom. Okay, so and we'll we'll just do that right there. So we've got the hardcore Duradex combat armor, right? Rory was much like I had managed in her. Okay, so we kind of should say that she's here, but I guess if she's much like I imagined her, she's here, right? Did he say Rory was going to come? Okay, Orion had managed to convince his friends, his friend Rory to come, and she was much like I had imagined. Well put together, wearing fine garments, with not a hair out of place. Okay, so just for the record, Rory is a genetically modified cat-human person. I don't even know what that means, but the like, kind of cat cross thing, I don't know. I don't know where to go with that, but basically, part cat, part girl, combat, person. That's what we have. Cat girl. Okay. I probably should put that in. Why don't we mention that she's a cat girl in here? 
I'm going to just be honest. I'm going to look over this. We're going to look at the Rory Clicky thing. I feel the fact she's a genetically modified cat girl person. Chimeric. This stuff. That should be in there somewhere. So I'm going to click our appearances. I don't know. I feel that this is... Guys, what the crap? Literally, nobody would know Rory's a cat person. I'm having to read over this, but you guys wouldn't know she's a cat person because I literally didn't write crap into it. What have I done? Did a bad job describing Rory and not doing a justifiable introduction of this as a character. Okay. Let's go up to this earlier where he introduced her. Want to be honest. Gosh, I'm going to have to blow this part up. Okay. I knew of Rory. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. This is how I'm going to fix this crap. We're going to compress this back in after I feel that we properly do justice to Rory. I'm going to grab her entire features list that we've got right here. Boom. That's right. Take it. I'm going to drop it right the frick in here like that. Then we're going to use this. Okay, I knew of Rory. She had been a mage for the Confederation of Planets during the most recent uh, push. You know what? We're not even going to have her just be a mage. Is she a battle mage or combat mage? Do we want a dice roll on this? We'll dice roll on this. Got a four-sided magic dice right here. See triangle right there. We're going to go one, two, she's a combat mage. Three, four, she's a battle mage. Battle or combat. One, two, combat. She is a battle mage. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dice, for deciding that for us. Also, I'll fix that right here. Battle Mage. What's the difference? I don't know. She's more worry. Okay, let's fix the rest of stuff. Next. I knew of Rory. She had been a Battle Mage for the Confederation of Planets during the most recent push to take back planets lost during the time of horrors. She was human.
Okay, chimerically. Spliced. Oh, this is super candy. Honestly, this program is, and I'm not full bore using it, you guys. So, if I were full bore using it, this thing will go further than what I'm doing. Like, if I were full bore using it, we could highlight a paragraph and ask it to expand it out, and it would do it. We're just not doing that. We're actually writing the stuff instead of but this this program it's epically cool okay she was human but chimerically spliced with multiple genetic traits okay that part we've got Okay, let me think of how I want to say this. Human chimeric splicing. We've got that out of the way. A line. Okay. She was human, but chimerically spliced with multiple genetic traits. For the most part, For the most part, she was okay. For the most part, she was a, an attractive human female with the expression of feline traits. Okay, that's we're going to count that as true. So we can get this chimerically spliced off of here, right? Because we've put it into the traits. And most part attractive, exhibiting feline traits. Then we'll, then we'll go over them.
Oh, I see where I messed up. Athletic build. I'm going to change this to Okay, we've got soft black fur Rory was tall with an athletic build, a fine layer of soft black fur. Piercing. Let's see. Do you guys think that, we, what do we want? Blue eyes or... Um, Topaz eyes. Blue or topaz. Do we want to dice roll this too? I kind of want topaz eyes, guys. Topaz. Do we want that? I don't know if I like that. I've got this. This is enough for. I'm gonna pull this out because we've got we've got what we want out of it. But legitimately, I had not just done her justice, and I'm trying to decide: does she fidget with the tail? Or do we just leave long tail and decide if we want to add to that later, guys? I'm going to read you what we just threw down on her. I'm really not feeling she fidgets with it, but I want her to do something with her tail. Do you guys get me on this at all? I don't know what I want her to do with her tail. But honestly, I am thinking about leaving it as she fidgets with it. And in fact, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave that up to the readers to decide what they think fidgets with her tell means in their mind. Because I literally everybody's thoughts on that is going to be different. That's kind of part of the fun. Okay. I knew of Rory. She had been a battle mage for the Confederation of Planets during the most recent push to take back planets lost during the time of the wars. She was human, but chimerically spliced with multiple genetic traits. For the most part, she was an attractive female with expressions of feline traits. Rory was tall with an athletic build, a fine layer of soft black fur, piercing topaz cat eyes, cat ears, and a long tail she seemed to fidget with. 
Okay, we'll leave that like that. I feel that that's all good, but this was broken somewhere before, I think, but maybe not. Oh, no. I almost think I should put this... Oh, you know what? We'll just go like this because we're good there. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now we are officially really at this point. And hey, Avalonis, how you doing today? I hope amazing. And we've got Rory written in there properly, not just crappily. I was really kind of annoyed at that, how... I didn't realize we didn't write. Like, we could have got all the way through this book. I could have published it. And I could have been the only person that actually was like, oh, well, Rory was a cat, half hybrid human, you know, or a partially cat, partially hybrid, a bunch of other stuff, human. Um, and nobody would have known at all. Isn't that crazy? I think that's crazy. I would have been like, ah, oh, now she has a cat. Don't, didn't you pick that up? And you guys would have been like, no, she had no cat stuff, dude. She just Rory, some girl. I know. What the heck? Funny. Yeah, yeah we're not killing Rory. Rory's going to actually reappear in book two. I just don't know how yet. Just... Just to be honest, that's why some of these characters, we want solid backstories that are established because we don't actually plan on all of them dying. And then on top of that, the ones that did die, they deserve a good backstory that way that it's actually worth something when they die. It wouldn't be worth anything when we kill them if they just like were like, and we introduced Tom. Tom died. You know what I mean? That, nobody gives a crap about Tom. I mean, like, they do probably if they know Tom. But I sat on my bed after washing a few capsules of bliss down and trying to use what little connection to nanites. Okay, so we already got through that. We already wrote through that. I arrived at Roy, Orion's. He was already awake and looked to be well-rested and prepared. There were two large military-style equipment containers. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That freaking mouse just went wild on us. Yeah. Sorry, guys. My mouse. Okay. This is where we're at. Let's hope it doesn't go wild. Okay. Oh, but he hasn't met her yet. Okay, so he wouldn't know that part. Never mind. Let me go back up here. Let's let take out that he knows that she fidgets with it. He just knows. Okay, so he knows her right here too much. So here's what, what I'm going to do down here. We've got this messed up a little bit. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to have to change something here real quick just because of we we solid that, that up. Okay, 
glory to come. And backwards guys oh my god spell check fix this for me spell check okay Ooh, holy crap. I got to fix this. I just, I have a whole crap mess now here. Orion, or, Orion had managed to convince his friend, Rory. Okay. Pull this out. Okay, so, oof. Get this out of the way. I just need to clean this up and hold back a sneeze at the same time. <coughs> Never mind. Okay, let me fix this. Orion had managed to convince his friend Rory and she was already there and ready to go. She was well put together. Put that in the okay, let's see if this fixes it. Even though this is kind of a weird fix, just I'm going to be honest. She was well put together, wearing fine garments with with not a hair out of place without let's she was well put together wearing fine garments I'm going to move this part.
Okay, so we've got that part in. So now I'm going to have to cut it out of the other place. Orion had managed to convince his friend Rory to come. And she was already there and ready to go. Here's what. Really don't like the wording on this, but this isn't the wording one, so let's just try to move past this real quick. Orion had managed to convince his friend Rory to come, and she was already there and ready to go. Knowing of her repu knowing of Rory and her reputation, did I, oh, Rory with a Y, sorry guys, knowing of Rory and her reputation made me more than glad she was coming. She was well put together, wearing fine garments without a hair out of place. And see, this is. Out of place. Uh, I forgot the D part. Fidge, fidgeting. Okay, I think we've got it now. Knowing of Rory and her reputation made me more than glad she was coming. She was well put together, wearing fine garments, without a hair out of place, and seemed to be fidgeting with her tail while waiting. Let's put seemingly fidgeting with her tail. Okay, oh, I have and, and. I don't know if I like the wording right there, but I'm, I'm going to leave it right now because that's what happened. Brandon, Zach, and Sarah seem to have just arrived at Ryan's. And look to have partied through the night. Okay, so that we're going to leave because that's true, right? <coughs> I, I asked Zach, did you guys get some rest and is Sarah also coming? Zach replied, Sarah is coming Sarah is coming to I just uh, figured we would have to get wait I figured I just figured we would have time to get some rest during the trip to wherever we're headed I hate the wording of that Yes, Sarah's coming too. I just figured we'd.
Oh. Okay. Yes, Sarah is coming too. We went out partying last night. I just figured we'd have ample time to get some rest during the trip to wherever we're headed. I don't like the wording. I'm going to probably reword re that later. I'm going to just be honest with you guys. Crap, it's almost noon, so I'm going to have to, to wrap this up in a second. Okay, Orion told me Blake and Toby just messaged me. Wait, do we not have Blake and Toby up here? Okay, so we've got Blake, Toby. I'm just making sure we have everybody, guys. At this point, it's just like, hey, did we actually load everybody on the bus? Okay, Blake and Toby just messaged me. They are already headed down to the dock on 51 to look things over before we arrive. I had not thought about that, but Orion and his friends cover that aspect. Covering that aspect made me feel a bit safer. It was less than an hour before I received a message from Salvador. Things were ready and the ship would be arriving soon, so he wanted us to head to the dock. So that part we're all good on. We arrived at Dock 51, which was one of the docks used for medium cargo and industrial ships. Salvador was standing with Trag and and two other men and a lady. Who are our two other men? Oh, that's Bruno and Frank. Okay, who I did not know. I noticed the lady was was a very attractive red-headed woman. We'll have to pull that, that up a better. We're going to get a better description on this girl. Oh, it sounds horribly funny. Like, honestly, revision three is just redoing the wording on stuff, though, guys. So that's why I'm trying not to get overly stuck up on it. I'm just trying to get through our revision two. So we can fix how everything sounds in revision three. The thing is, though, we want to make sure to try and fix details and crap like we can on the way through. And honestly, some of the wording we need fixed, too. I agree, though, the wording on that's not great. Like this chapter's obviously and the chapter before has massive wording issues. Um, I would like it to be. A little better description on this redheaded girl so that definitely chapter three is descriptions so our revision three is description type stuff they look to be well-dressed thugs oh well we already have that we already know the Bruno and Frank are not Salvatore's people who's wait are they I just got to check. Oh, frick yeah. Yeah, they are. They're some of those people. What am I thinking? Okay. Because they were guarding the, the thing. That's what happened. Hey, Star Tracer, how you doing today? That that's what happened. I had them guarding Trag's door at one point, so somehow I had misconnected them to... But I, I get what happened. Okay, very attractive redhead. Uh, I'm going to get rid of... They, they look like well-dressed thugs, because we already know Salvador's people. And so that... That, that's not good at all. 
Here's what I am going to do, though, right here. Because it's already past 12, so I actually do have to take out and, and get stuff done. Um, I feel that this girl deserves a better description. And so, honestly, I because all we have her described as right here, Kiara, is a red-headed telepathic junkie that's attractive. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's a crap description that we've gave her. And honestly, I'm willing to on Friday say that we're going to be right here and we're going to fix this girl's description. Because she will be in a later book, too. She survives this. And we all know that, that um, Sam diddles this girl. Like they have hot, naughty, you know, stuff in the, the medical bay before she decides she's not talking to him again. We'll reintroduce her in book two in some capacity. I don't know how that's going to happen. But the psychic girl thing, super handy for certain things. Let's give this girl some, some better description. Because honestly, that, that's crap. She survives. Well, we'll try to give her some dignity. We'll make her. We'll try to figure out how to describe her. She's she's pretty redheaded girl who happens to be a junkie and a telepath, right? I feel we could do her better justice is what I'm saying. Okay, you guys, I'm going to find somebody that we can raid. Hold on one second. I got to click a bunch of buttony buttons. There's usually somebody. Let's see if somebody is writing. There usually is. There's all these buttons. Do you guys see how many buttons? I'm not complaining too heavy about it. There really is nobody writing. Okay. Tuniversal is not on. So what's going to come on is... Oh, yeah, we're doing three books on this, on this character alone. Oh, wait, let me type that in. Art Tannis. Oh, okay, boom. That's who we're raiding. Starting my raid. You guys, I do seriously thank you guys for hanging out with me for all of the, you know, stuff you guys do to make my stream better. I hope you guys have a great week. Peace, very best wishes, and I'll see you guys later on.